there's another one here. It's gotta go around the anchor. No, no. It's about time that I land my monster snapper. And I could feel it, it's just around the corner. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to another episode. You're probably saying to yourself, why is there three jars here? These three jars have hooks in them. So every jar has a brand of hook. This one is Ekoi, Kamagatsu, Mustad, Mustad, Mustad. I'm gonna fill up every jar with salt water. Now the reason why I wanna do this, I'm putting a little experiment. So this jar has got the water. Another one, the hooks are in there as you can see. That's got it there also. I'm gonna leave these in there for 24 hours and I'm actually gonna see if these hooks actually rust out. Normally when you go fishing and the, hook, and the fish swallows the hook and we cut the line off, they say that the hooks dissolve. We're gonna put that to the test. So make sure you watch this until the end of the episode because I'm gonna post the results at the end of this episode. Let's go fishing. Let's take it slow. And we're gonna eat what we caught last week. So check this out. We've got three flatties that I caught on the boat. We've got this squid. We're not gonna be eating the whole of this squid, so I'm just gonna cut that in half, freeze the other side of it. But first, I wanna quickly show you how to fillet a flathead. So you wanna cut it just behind the, um, the first wing, cut it in there like that. And you wanna cut it down till you can feel the rib cage. Against the spine. Against the spine, sorry. And then what you do is you flick it like that, have it from the, the skin there, and then all you do is cut it back like that. Ooh, and back like that. You got one fillet. Here we are, we've got some fillets. And we've got the squid we're gonna have for dinner tonight. You cannot get any fresher than that. Flathead and squid, what's in the other one? Flathead and squid. Same. You want a flathead? Like your GoPro. Like always comes out, so you can have that. Dude, rock. Check how low the tide is. We wanna keep that motor up like that. Unhook the boat. Push out we're going to put the motor down a bit more that's how it's done just got out here first cast i've got my bait ready to go new reel by the way staying out all day until i get a snap up small hits on that one there burling up now let me know in the comment section what burly you guys use i'm getting hits take it take it come on Smash it. Just caught this starfish, look at that. Just getting these small little hits. If there's small pinkies here, that's a good sign because normally they snap it with them, yeah? It's because I've got a small boat. He's toying with me. We'll get one, don't worry. There'll be a nice one that comes along. Just pushes the small fish out the way and just smashes that dulcet that we've got. I'm on my own now anyways. There are only small pinkies everywhere. I wouldn't mind a nice size like 40 centimeter pinky. Take home and eat a couple of them would be good. Keep burling. I like baiting the head of the pilchard. So normally I just put the hook through the eye, feed it through with the line. Then I like to put the hook just on top of its spine, pull it through to the other side, pull the line back in the eye. And that's how I normally do it. Something heavy on this. Oh shit. I'm not asking for much. I just want a 7.5 kilo snapper to take this small light gear and spool me. That's it, spool me. Pinkies, I swear, there's small pests, these pinkies. Give me at least a 40 centimeter, man. Take it, take it, take it. Come on. Catch one, I'm going home. Just don't get time to fish. Watch how she cuts through the water. Fight him, yes. Oh, I gotta fight this fish, I gotta go. Oh, I'm on, I'm on, yes. Oh, come on. What is it? I think it's a snapper. I don't know what this is. Oh, what was that? Not running or anything, it's just sitting there. Oh, it's a banjo. Uh, hooked you in the ass. Go on, you pest. Not what we want. You ready, Rock? Any second, bro, they're gonna take off. Any second, the rods are gonna go, Rock. Any second, these rods are gonna go. I'm telling you, I know. Believe me, bro. We get one, we go in, all right? Any second, man. Almost 12 o'clock, Rock and I are hungry, so I'm gonna try to catch a few flathead. I bring the cooktop, um, we can have some lunch together because Papa just told me that he's very hungry. If I don't feed him soon, he does not want to come fishing anymore. Is that right, Papa? Lunch is coming, Rock. Any second now, bro, we're gonna catch some lunch, all right? 
Even if I wanted to cook up flathead, I didn't bring the fry pan. I bring the cooker and everything but the fry pan. I'm gonna go in for a bit, I'm gonna eat, and I come back out. Guys, check out the ground, how crystal crude it is. I'm gonna be literally an hour and I'm gonna and I'm gonna come straight back out here. I'm gonna fish till dark. We're out, Jimmy! Jimmy! You coming or not? Yeah, too. We've had breakfast and we're ready to rock and roll. So is Rocco. Water is like crystal clear, glassy. Check out this ground. It is like oil out here, man. And I'm gonna take a second and just. Let's go get fish. Just started fishing now, and I received a message from Andrew, who's also fishing not far from where I am. Just sent me these photos right now. I don't know if you can see that. Right now, hopefully they come on the bite. Look how glassy it is at the moment. The rods are out. This is what we've been waiting for. Fuck, it's sick. Trust me, any second they're gonna come on. This rod's gonna buckle, I'm telling you now. Rock, you don't understand. Any second now they're gonna come on. Been on the water since six o'clock this morning. 5.30. I just want something to spoil me. Oh, look at all the dirt, look at all the dirt everywhere. Bloody. Not what we want. See? Oh, yeah. Now you wanna hold him before you put him back in. You wanna make sure he's gonna swim away. I was trying to revive this flathead for like three minutes and I said to myself, I don't think he's going to make it. So if he didn't make it, worst case scenario, I was going to chop him up and use him for bait. All of a sudden, he just took off. I'm telling you, any second, bro. Perfect bait for snapper. Come on, go, go. Oh, come on, go. Rock, I'm telling you, they're going to come on any second. I've had a good feeling about today. So I'm just going to let you guys know how I anchor. So what I do is... I look at some boats and I see how they're sitting in the water. Put my boat in the same direction where I know the boat's going to be. Pull it up really slow, pull the anchor, give it about 20 to 30 meters from the spot that I want to be in, and then I come on that spot spot on. First cast of the morning. I'm not anchored anymore. My lines were going at the front of the boat. I'm drifting. I've got one line on the bottom with a sinker and I'm flicking a soft plastic. Something different. No one's catching anything. Hopefully it works so we get one. Screamer. Mario Falzon. Yeah, he's my grandfather. Rocco and I are sweating it out now. Trying to get that lander. Freaking snapper. I can feel it. It's going to come any single second. Any second. One of them are just going to scream. Oh, what a feeling. Snapper. I have literally tried morning, afternoons, been out all day now. Just want that one to come on. It's coming. It's around the corner. I'm telling you. You know when you can feel it? I just know it's coming. It's coming any second. Any second now. If you want to go fishing, bark. <laughs> There's nothing that pisses me off more than this. Obviously, someone's come out fishing here, seen fisheries, shit themselves, and threw all the fish, the fish they had over. So, just not happy. The gear rental. Yeah. The gear rental. Oh, gear. How far? Good eyes this. I tell you what. The spring. Yeah, the gear. You see? The spring went yeah. there. Rock, what are you doing? How'd you go? Good what, pinky oh. snapper? No way. Whiting? Okay. Thank you very much, mate. Come here. There's fillets on the beach here. That's a nice size, all right. that. Nice size there. There's another one here. So they've been getting them. And there's another one up here. Oh man, I'm excited now. Rock, come on bro. 
We're gonna get him today. You just gotta keep putting in the time. Like, I'm due now. Like I know I'm due. If I don't get one, I'm just happy to be out here. I just want that monster, man. I'm bullshit. I just want that monster. Run! Run! You never know. 348. Four, five, six, seven. I've got at least another three hours in this boat. Solid three hours to find some fish. I don't know what this is. He is hooked. Awesome. They're here. They're finally here. One just reefed me. Right, watch this rod. That's, there must be mackerel. Oh! What is that? Oh! I'm gonna go around the anchor. Oh my god. Oh no. I'm gonna bring him this way. No. Oh my god. Come on. Yeah. Is that? So he was actually 55 centimeters. I'm gonna fill it that when I get home. I'm gonna eat that and try it out. Now we just want that pinky or a snapper. What is it? Oh, look at that baby. Mm -hmm. yeah. Perfect eating. Good morning, good morning. Where you wanna be, you want it nice and reefy for these pinkies and snapper, okay? They got a nice snapper off Port Arlington Pier yesterday. I think it was like five or six kilo. So the fish are in shallow at the moment. Oh my God, check out that sunset or the sunrise. So it's really reefy where I am here, using no sinker, just a leader with a hook and half a pilly. Squid's good too to get. If you can get squid, use squid. A lot of people here say that they haven't come on yet. We're hit and miss, so gotta keep trying because any second now they will come on, like full force, you'll get them. You wanna throw your burly behind your baits, like closer to the boat. One of these rods are gonna go. I just had a massive run. It's small, see? Yes, got him. Yes. Yes. You'll get the odd big one. Ooh. Right on in. Massive. I like to put them out their misery straight away. I just put a hole straight through their brain. But the spikes are there on the side. See them there? One there. And there's one there. You just want to be very, very careful. They don't hit you because you won't stop bleeding. So I'll take that fillet. That fillet. That's a good size flatty, isn't it? Look at that. Flathead are better eating than the snapper. I'm putting a sounder in shortly. Loran's Elite 9 Ti, I think it is. But they reckon there's a new one coming out. Uh, this is what I love about fishing. Look at the line at the back, how it's nice and slack there. And all of a sudden you see that line go tight, and then you just know the rod's gonna buckle over. They give you a shit when you're not catching. I'll wait until you go. After 50, go down. You're still young. Oh, bullshit. Come on. Been almost four days. I've got these hooks in the jars. I don't want to show you guys the result yet. I'm going to leave it for another three days and see what happens so I can show you the results on my next YouTube video. Stay tuned. Short. 